Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add feedback to quiz questions in Google Forms and how your students will see that feedback. Let's go ahead and jump into my Google Classroom here. And I'm going to go to Classwork to create a new quiz assignment. Let's call this one sample quiz number 15. Now I'm going to use the blank quiz option right here. But before I do that, I want to point out I have grade importing turned on, which automatically limits my students to one response per quiz and it automatically collects their email addresses as well. So let's go to blank quiz. I'm going to rename this one sample quiz 15. Let's add a couple of questions. Let's start out with, what is the tallest mountain in the world? And we'll say Everest, or we'll say K2, or Denali. Now, I'm gonna go to my answer key and set my point value. Let's indicate the correct response and add answer feedback. If the students answer incorrectly, I'm gonna do something like this and say, that's not right. Please watch this video. And I'll click on the video icon here and I'll put in something like tallest mountains in the world. And then we'll insert a video as part of that answer feedback. Now you could also link directly to anything you have bookmarked, any resource you want to share with your students. You could link to it by clicking on that link right there. Now for my correct answers, I might just do something simple and say, great job. We'll leave it at that for now. Now let's click done. And we'll make sure we require that question. I'm going to do one more question. And this one I'm going to make as a short answer question. And now let's go into my answer key. I'm going to add a correct answer. five points. I'll add one other. Now, all other answers I'll mark incorrect. And let's add some answer feedback. Now, in this case here, for my feedback, I'll just say, you know, fun fact, the Red Sox play in the morning on Patriots Day every year. And again, I could add some more resources here in the form of a video or a link, but I'll just hit save on that one and click done. And again, make that required. So now let's assign this to my students. I've made up the quiz. Let's assign it to my students with a due date of tomorrow. Next, let's take a look at the student side of this. So here's my student's account. And he's going to click on the new assignment. He's going to go take that quiz. He's going to answer this one. And hit submit. And now when it hits the option to view score, he'll see, oh, I got that one wrong. Now I have to watch this video. And down here, got that right. And there's a fun fact. Now, 
it's important to note that there's nothing you can do here to force your student to watch that video. You can suggest it to them, but you can't force it to them. What you could do, however, if you have a video you want your students to watch, and you want to make sure that they watch it, you could use a service like Edpuzzle to create a short video lesson that has a question built into it, and then link to that in your answer feedback. Now I have a video about how to use Edpuzzle linked up in the description down below. So now the student will see that his quiz has automatically been submitted for him. And he can go back to his homepage and there he is. He can look at all, of his, all his other classwork, right? Let's see that one's done. So now on the teacher side of this, I'll refresh this. And we'll see sample quiz. Right? One person has turned it in. Uh, Mason's turned it in. Okay. Now, I can go back over here to my sample quiz where I was editing it, and we'll see the responses have come in. And I can even open that up in a new spreadsheet if I like. So I have a new spreadsheet where I can see when Mason took it, his score, right? how he answered each individual question. Of course, I can also see that down here in the breakdown of the scores. But over here, I have the option to import grades or I can manually write in a grade for my student. And say, great job. Actually, he didn't get 100, Never mind. He got 50. I say, I'm glad you knew the Red Sox trivia. And now you can go in and return that work. So that's an overview of how you can add answer feedback to quizzes you make with Google Forms and how your students we'll see that feedback as well. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.